Hey guys, it's Mario, and today is Friday. Alright, so I want to start with this video by saying that I also agree with Michael that as a male, I really, sh like, don't have the right to have an opinion on this. But for this video's purpose, I am going to express what I feel about this. Um, I'm not saying that my argument is valid, because I really don't feel I have a right to this. Like, when I saw this topic, I was like, oh god, should I just not make a video or something? Because... I don't know, I don't, I don't want to offend women who think, oh, he doesn't know what he's talking about because he doesn't, it will never happen to him, and so he won't have to emotionally experience it. Alright, so my view on this is I am pro-choice, um, and this is very different than everybody else on the channel so far, because we haven't seen Katie's view on it at all, so I don't want to say everybody on the channel, but... I think it is a woman's choice, um, because if they do end the life, at least the, um, the embryo has potential to go towards stem cell research, which I think is a very important thing for us to be studying right now, because it can cure so many diseases. And I'm pretty sure something recently passed in legislation that's making it not illegal anymore, so, and I think it's a great thing that we should embrace. Um, However, I don't think women who acted irresponsibly should get abortions. I just think they should, um, they should just give up their child for foster care because they're not going to want it to an extent, or they're always going to be their accident, and they're always going to feel, I don't know, some resentment towards that child, I feel. I don't know. It could be a different, like, people are different, I understand, but that's how I would probably feel. I don't think there should be a law, um, or a license thing trying to get pregnant or to, to get pregnant like Robbie said because that's leading politically towards um communism and totalitarianism and all that all like dystopian futures and we don't want that yes we do have a population control problem but there's other means of doing it other than saying you have to have a license to have a child I don't think we should stop having children because there's dying people in Africa um and I think that's a little irrelevant to this topic in the event of a rape I think it's understandable because um, having to carry that child for nine months in your like on your stomach is a constant reminder of what happened to you. The fact that you're carrying whoever did this to you's baby, and that feeling of powerlessness that will be there until at least the baby's gone. Plus, however many years it's going to take you to get over this. Having known somebody that I love very much, being who's been raped. I kind of, I kind of feel a lot towards this topic, and I feel like it is all right for someone to get uh, an abortion um, if they've been raped. It's a very, very big psychological issue um, that can cause years and years of problems if they were to keep the baby. I know people say, "Oh, you can just give it up for an adoption," but th that nine months of gestation will be hell. Um, yeah. Sorry for all the ums. I'm just trying not to- I'm trying to think about what I say before I say it. Again, yes, it is wrong to- to, I don't know, take a life, but I don't know, I feel at the same time taking life for something like stem cell research can save millions of other lives. Yes, it's- it's sad because that one person could have done something great. But at the same time, imagine, say you cure AIDS, then through stem cell research, then that one child's sacrifice just saved millions of people across the planet. And again, it's going to sound very evil and Harry Potter-esque, but it's going to be for the greater good. And I, I know that's a horrible thing to say, but it is, it, or it can be. Again, I don't think it's right for women to just be selfish and be irresponsible and say, oh, I fucked up, I got pregnant. No, you keep that baby, because that's not fair to the child, and that's not fair um, to even the father, to an extent. Maybe they want that child, but... Um, in cases of health or of rape, I am okay with it. I accept it, and I would not look down on you. Like, if you were just, oh yeah, had a wild night, and I got pregnant, because I wasn't responsible, well, that's on you, honey. That is not 
right to take the baby. But yeah, this video is kind of rambling, so I'm gonna go now. Um, I will catch you guys next week, and I don't have anything cute to say like Katie does, so bye!